Hey folks, it's Andu, and I haven't decided to start doing review, full review videos yet, but a friend of mine here at school brought this in, a toy from his childhood. He said he got it when he was seven, and it, it is the Nerf Wildfire, and it is just weird enough, crazy enough, and cool enough that I just had to do a video on it, as long as it's here, and I can get my hands on it. Now, this is an air power blaster. As a matter of fact, it was the first fully automatic Nerf blaster. This is a huge, huge blaster and um, it's got a turret design, just like the Swarm Fire. It holds 20 rounds. I'm not quite sure, I haven't gotten a good look at the inner workings yet, but it has a huge air tank back here. And um, something you might be able to see, maybe not really well, yep. this is the um, kind of your uh, power indicator. It shows, says uh, empty over here and full over here. And as this uh, yellow piece slides back, that tells you and you've just about maximized the pressure in the blaster. And um, the uh, handle's kind of weak. Prob that's probably in part because of uh, years of use. Uh, no. If I were to modify it. No, one. it was always like that. Oh, all right. Uh, <laughs> it, uh, this is so professional. The, um, uh, it's kind of weak. If I was going to modify this blaster, one of the first things I do is take PC7 epoxy putty or metal strips and reinforce that. And as I understand, it takes quite a few pumps to fill this up, so I'm gonna see if I can figure out a way to uh, fast forward this, and I'm gonna count and see how many pumps this takes. So, without further ado. Here we go. <laughs> Fifty pumps. It looks just about full, and the air pressure when you pull pull the trigger both rotates the mechanism and fires the darts, and it is incredibly loud. Whether you have darts in there or not doesn't make any difference. As a matter of fact, it's so loud that I'm worried it's it sounds like something dry firing or it sounds like it's just like it's going to damage itself. It's always been like that. So we're going to give this a shot and uh, come over here. Let's get a good angle. Nerf wildfire firing test in three, two, one. <laughs> I used to think the swarm fire was just ridiculously huge. And uh, it's the same kind of setup 20, 20 dart turret, fully automatic, of course, just like the wildfire here. Well, this is powered by a battery and a plunger system. Um, the swarm fire is longer. If I take the stock off, if I take the stock off, they're about the same length. The wildfire is by far much bulkier. And um, while the gentleman who owns this blaster and I were discussing uh, modifications to it, he suggested a bullpup design. Um, move the handle forward to right about here. Connect, uh, connect the trigger mechanisms with a push rod and it actually would make a really nice compact blaster in that case. But as you can see, like I said, very, very loud, very good fast rate of fire. Uh, it looks awesome. And even though this is old and it's missing screws and it's got some cracks in plastic, faded paint, I still <laughs> think this is really cool. I might just go get myself one of these on eBay. All right, so this is a stock of modified swarm fire. I'm going to do a quick Firing video, gonna fire off uh, most of the rounds in this turret before we do something really cool. Just for the sake of comparison, I better turn it on first. Both at once. I really wanna get my hands on two of these just to do a video firing both at the same, same time. All right, here's the pumping and trigger assembly. As you can see, very flimsy. Just a single O-ring. I used red automotive grease to seal that up better. Still got plenty good seal. And this is how the trigger works. functioning too. 
All right, this is the air tank. I've got these hose clamps on it because the factory clamps, they just don't cut it. They didn't last too long. I don't think I even made it to my eighth birthday, which was six months after Christmas. So that being said, hose clamps are the way to go if you ever find one of these. I'd say this looks like an air bladder inside there. Yep. That's how it holds That's so much exactly pressure. What it is. And this is just a protective vessel, the hard part. It's got a check valve like any other. It's already empty. No, oh, no it's not. This is I think I'd call it a plunger. It's more of an air hammer. This, if you can see, this comes forward, it rotates the drum. So this mechanism causes this to rotate. This seems this regulates the air flowing from the system here to the turret. So um, I'm very glad I got to review this blaster. Some uh, final thoughts. It's almost as if it was made to fire elite darts because they just look awesome, look the part. And uh, a few other things I've noticed. Uh, this hump is kind of annoying, but you'll see here, it's kind of got an iron sight sort of thing, but in actuality, that is a sling point. So you could sling this. And uh, if you wanted to use an HVZ and you had, say, an Alpha Trooper or something like that, or that new Elite Alpha Trooper, which I'm looking forward to, um, as a primary, a light primary, if you got into a situation where you were kind of being uh, charged or crowded by a small group of zombies, say an HVZ, you could just uh, grab it and <laughs> say hello to my little friend, you know, crap like that. Uh, it's a really cool old blaster, and um, it's very, like I said, oh, it's very loud. But it's very unique, not the most practical for uses because, or uh, for most combat situations, just because it's 50 pumps to get it to, ready to fire all the shots. But it's just awesome, and I'm glad I got the chance to review it. Uh, thank you very much to the fellow who brought it here for me to take a look at. And uh, that's all for now. Keep your stick on the ice. Hey folks, it's Ando, Ando again, and, oh, I gotta strip it over again. It really is quite dark. Now, it's huge. So, for comparison, <laughs> hey, Loud. This, this is my roommate, everybody, I won't give you his name. He's a cool guy. He's more of an electrical engineer than I am. Wave, wave, to, the, wave to the viewers. As you can see, the bladder is very full. And what's the trigger? Right here on the end of the pump. Um, go ahead. No, you don't want to hold it there. Oh. Hold it here. You sure? You got it? Yeah. Oh, got it. Not. <laughs> Sweet. Are you recording? Yep. All right, now I need you to uh, tilt your head down and don't move, okay? You good? Mm-hmm. You sure? Yep. <laughs>